Hi, I'm Elise from the Bibliomaniacs with the Vlog Squad, and today I'm going to be reviewing Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodden. Wolf by Wolf is the second alternate history type of book that Ryan Grodden has written. It takes place after World War II, but asks two questions that many people have asked. One, what if Germany had won? And two, what would happen if you killed Hitler? It's 1956, and then Germany and Japan have ruled most of Eurasia and parts of Africa. The main character is this girl named Yael. She was a prisoner in one of the camps during the war, and she, unlike many of the other prisoners, she was experimented on because she was very young at that time. Due to the experiments, she developed this ability that she calls skin shifting, which is pretty much being able to look like anything that she wanted to be as long as it was her own gender and somewhat close in age to her. The story takes place when she's 16 and she's joined the rebellion to take down the German and Japanese regime. Then there's this yearly race that starts in Germany and ends in Japan to celebrate the regime of the Germans and the Japanese. This year the rebellion has decided that Yao will join the race and disguise herself as one of the German competitors, a girl named Adele Wolf. Because if she wins at the end she'll be able to go to the victor's ball and possibly dance with Hitler and get close enough to kill him. The problems that she finds when she starts the race is that one, the twin brother of the girl she is disguised as has surprisingly joined the race to protect his sister and then that there's another comp German competitor named Luca. It seems that he and Adele, the girl that Yal is disguised as, seem to have some type of romantic history and some type of sabotage or plans that they have made together in the last race that Adele had won and Luca had lost. One thing that I had wondered while reading this book is typically in many YA novels and from what I've seen of Ryan Grodin's work that there is some type of, there's almost always a love interest. And for Yal this time, since she's not herself, she's Adele, who is her love interest? The two possibilities are one, Felix, Adele's twin brother, or Luca. I thought perhaps Felix would be the love interest, but that would be kind of weird because Yal is disguised as Adele, who's Felix's twin sister, and that's not really right. Or it could be Luca, but Luca doesn't really know that Yal is Adele. And he had a relationship with Adele before Adele had betrayed him in some way that we still don't clearly know about. Another thing of note is when Yal, when she joins the rebellion, she had gotten six wolves tattooed on her arm. Each of the wolves represented someone who had made a Im big impact on her life, like the one, the woman who had helped her to escape, her mother, someone who had helped her join the rebellion, and someone who had trained her. And throughout the novel, each of their stories about each of the wolves is told. Yael's journey isn't an easy one, and it's difficult full of plot twists and new mysteries uncovered. And at the end of the novel, there's a giant cliffhanger that implies the sequel is going to be just as exciting as the first one. Thanks for watching. Bye.